Hi and welcome to the day 4 of my 25 days of Christmas tutorial series. Today I'm going to create a holiday card, a couple of cards actually, that look really sophisticated but in fact are much easier to make than you might think. The entire card front is created by just one pass through the die cutting machine and then you just add the embellishment. But let me start from the beginning. So to create a shape of the card, I'll be using the largest die from the Rustic House shaped card set, which is from the latest paper discovery collection. I just have to run it through the die cutting machine once and it will create a 5 by 7 house shaped card. If you don't have this set or you don't have a large die cutting machine, it's not a problem. Just create a 5 by 7 card base and you will trim off the corners later on. Next, I'm going to create a card front, which is really easy, as I mentioned. For this one, I'll be using the Rustic House Cut and Emboss folder. You can see there are actual dies incorporated inside that folder. All I'm going to do is to insert a 5 by 7 piece of watercolor paper inside the folder and I'm going to send it through the machine as usual, as if it's a normal embossing folder. Now I have the entire house front embossed and uh, you can also see the door can be opened and closed. And uh, here I'm going to take some time and pop out all the pieces because the windows are also created by the dies. To make the embossed pattern stand out even more, I'm going to use the Hickory Smoke Distress Ink, which is the neutral gray color. I'm going to put some ink onto the sponge applicator and simply run it across the paper really lightly without a applying too much pressure and what it's going to do the raised areas are going to pick up a bit more color and uh, the entire pattern will pop. You can use this whole piece as a card front but since uh, I'm going for a shaped card I'm going to cut it out so you can do it using a knife, scissors or your paper trimmer. I'm just cutting along the embossed lines, which is really easy to do since all lines are straight. Before I attach the card front onto the card base, I'm also going to stick down a couple of pieces of yellow paper behind of uh, window areas to create the lit windows. As always, you can find the list of supplies that I'm using down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. Now I'm going to apply some double-sided tape at the wrong side of the panel, and then I'm going to stick it down onto the card base. If you want uh, the door of your house to open and close, just don't apply any adhesive onto the door area. In this particular project, I um, don't need an opening door, I think, so I'm going to apply the tape all over. Now our house shaped card is finished and all we have to do is to add some Christmas decorations. I'll be using the Christmas Essentials die set that works perfectly with that embossing folder set has lots of elements in it uh, and uh, it gives you a lot of options as for how to decorate the house. For this project I will only be using a Christmas tree, a door wreath and a tiny little bird that I'm going to put at the top of the house. I've die cut the wreath twice out of a red and green patterned papers. Then I'm going to trim out the bow from the red one and stick it onto the green one so that I have a green wreath with a red bow. Alternatively, you can simply cut out the wreath out of white paper and color it as you wish. Another product that I was eager to demonstrate is Christmas Characters Stamp and Die Set. It includes some large beautiful images like villagers, caroling, a snowman, Santa, a couple of gnomes and more. 
I got all of the images stamped onto a piece of watercolor paper and got them colored. This time, instead of using matching dies, uh, I fussy cut all the images. I know some people hate to do that, but in this case, you just use the matching dies. I'm planning to use up all of those images on my projects by the end of the holiday season. For this particular project, I think I will uh, just take the snowman and a couple of gift boxes to put under the Christmas tree. So now I'm just going to use my liquid glue and uh, stick down uh, the images right onto the card front. The glue I'm using is Ranger Multimedia Matte. You can add as many or as few elements to this type of cards as you wish. In this case, I think a sentiment would be a nice addition. So I'll be using the Merry Christmas label from the stamp set that is called Christmas Sentiments. It's also from the new collection of Paper Discovery. I'm going to stamp it out on a piece of red patterned paper and then I'm going to use a matching die to cut it out. And by the way, the die is from the um, Christmas Essentials die set, the same one that I took a Christmas tree and a wreath from. Then I'm going to attach the label uh, onto the card front using some foam tape. At this point, you can actually call the card done, especially if you're mass producing or if you just want to keep it minimalistic. But I have decided to add um, just a few leaves around the sentiment. The green leaves are again from uh, the Christmas Essentials die set, the same one that I was using all the time. I'm just going to trim down the die cuts, tuck them behind the label and attach them with the liquid adhesive. And now I can call my card done. This card has tons of texture and it's mailing friendly at the same time. And by the way, here is another card that I made using the same embossing folder. The card front is um, actually the same. I just added uh, some uh, different elements, again using the Christmas Essentials die set. This time I didn't use any um, stamped and colored images, but on this card the door is opening. So that was the tutorial for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back this Wednesday with the tutorial number five. So stay tuned for that. See you soon.